Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I went to Kamakura to visit temples and shrines. Kamakura is about an hour away from Tokyo Station, and it costs about 1,000 yen, which is about $7.50. This is the first place we visited. This temple is called Jomyoji, which is located at 30 minutes away from Kamakura Station by walk. I came here in middle of December, but the leaves are still red and yellow color. It was super super pretty. When you come to temple and pray, you need to do gasho and one bow. Gasho means putting palms together. In this temple, there is a Japanese tea house which serves matcha with Japanese traditional sweets. This place has only two choices. One is higashi, which is dry Japanese candy. The other one is nerikiri, which is soft unbaked Japanese sweets. It was pretty cold outside, but there is hot carpet and heater inside of the tea house. So it was really comfortable to stay there even with this winter cold. I got matcha with nerikiri. Nerikiri is different for each season. Usually, these are the shape of seasonal flowers. And I got matcha. It was super good. There is sweet red bean paste inside of nerikiri, and it was really really good. There is a Japanese traditional garden in front of the tea house. It is so calming just to stay there. There is a shishiodoshi, which is a water-filled bamboo tube that clocks against a stone when it empties. This shishiodoshi was connecting to another bamboo tube just to hear the sound of it. We finished eating pretty quickly, but we stayed there for a while. I really wish my house is like this. It must be a drafty house though. Nerikiri that I ate was representing this flower called Sazanka. We found this floating tap outside of the temple. It's actually really cool. After that, we visited different temple close to the temple we just visited. This temple is called Hokokuji which is famous for the bamboo tree garden. Even though this place is famous for the bamboo, the garden in front of the bamboo area was super pretty too. It seems like this Ojizo-san is ready for winter. I like the sound of water falling into a pond. I want one of these in my house. I was so excited to go into the bamboo area because I haven't been there for a while. There were so many bamboo trees, and they are super super tall. This bamboo garden is not that big, but it was really fun to walk around the garden. There is a tea house in the garden, so if you want to enjoy matcha in the bamboo garden, I highly recommend to visit here. There was Ike, which is a pond right next to the bamboo garden. There were many koi fishes there. They are so pretty. After that, we went to this shop to get hot drinks. We didn't go in there, but you can eat Japanese sweets inside. We got yuzu tea and amazake. Yuzu tea is tea with yuzu, which is a type of citrus. And amazake? is a drink which made out of koji that is like a rice. Amazake sounds like an alcohol since the name has sake, but there is no alcohol in it. Some people like amazake, but some people don't. So I'm not sure you will like it, but I want you to try it if you have a chance to drink it. It actually tastes really good. After that, we visited Kamakura Gu which is a shrine close to Kamakura Station. 
There are many Miko-san who works for shrine. I wanted to be Miko-san just because their outfit is pretty. I know it's bad thoughts. This shrine is known for removing yaku, which means bad luck. This red thing is called shishimai, which prevents the yaku to come into the house. So people put it at the entrance of the house. This place is for throwing a small dish and smash it on the stone. Yes, just throw it to the stone. This act actually has meaning, and it means for removing bad luck from your body. Basically, you breathe into the dish, thinking like you're putting all your bad luck on it. I'm such a bad thrower, so the dish was smashed, but it hits the wall, not the stone. I was so sad. So if you are like me, I recommend to throw it close to the stone. But just be careful not to get attacked by the crushed dish. Anyways, after that, we just walk around the shrine and I found these three cats standing weirdly. There was a turtle statue in the shrine. Since turtle live long, it symbolized long life. So people pet this statue to wish that they live healthy and long. These are Emma, which is the boat to write your wish. This design of Emma seems like inspired by Demon Slayer. This shrine is pretty different from other shrines, like throwing dishes and stuff like that. But I really enjoy staying there. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!